Hey there, I'm Melly Bean, and in this video, we are going to learn how to draw a. <gasps> a great white shark. So first we're going to start over on the left side of the paper and we're going to start drawing a triangle. And the flat portion will be going pointing towards the right side. And then the flat part of the triangle you're going to start um, angling it a little bit just like I did. Now you're going to draw another triangle going the opposite way and it's going to be a longer triangle than the first one. And we're going to leave the very tip of it open a little bit. Now we're going to draw another triangle going off of the end of that other one, just like that. And then another one going down, and this is the shark's back fin. Now on the top of the shark's body, you're going to draw another triangle coming off of that line and then one on the bottom too that kind of angles back a little bit. And then one little one right here. And then another little one above that, but a little farther back. Now you're going to draw a triangle coming off the bottom and then down to that line. It's going to be a long triangle. And then you're going to draw about five lines coming off of that, that line on the triangle um, for the gills. Now about here you're going to draw a circle for the eye and then a little nostril. Why do sharks have nostrils anyways? Because they don't breathe underwater. So, well, with a nose, they breathe through their gills. But I don't know if they use their nostril for breathing. If you know, tell me in the comments because I'd like to know. But now I'm rounding out the shark's nose and the body. We're just making it so everything isn't so pointy. Round out the body. and round out that bottom jaw. And the bottom of the shark will make that more rounded too. So he looks a little more plump. That's what we want. Now we're gonna round out all the fins and this one you're going to kind of bring it in towards the body to smooth it out and the tip of it is going to point a little bit towards the back of the shark and then you're going to swoop it around and join it to the body. You can kind of do the same thing on the little fins too. And this one you're going to really round it on the front and then curve the back. These ones, we're going to smooth them out too and kind of curve the tips of the triangles like we did on that top fin. And now I'm going to erase any unwanted lines. We're going to speed things up here a little bit. So pause the video if you need to catch up. 
okay to pause in between steps and take your time so that you can get your drawing how you want it to be. Now you're going to squiggle from the nostril and under the eye down the gill and along the body back to the tail and down the bottom tip of the tail. And then we're going to color in this fin here on the side. Color in the top fin and the little one. And then basically everything that is above that line that we just drew with the gray. So I think sharks apparently like they don't have to, if they've had a good meal, they like don't have to eat for a long time after that. I don't know that they would choose not to eat for a long time, but I think it's something like three months or something that they actually don't have to eat. It's kind of crazy. I think that's probably longer than a snake because I know snakes can go a long time without food too. If you know how long it is, let me know. I would like to know. Tell me your wisdom and knowledge. Okay, color in the eye, black. And then we're gonna outline the top fin with black and the little fin and the side fin and draw a little line there. It's a shadow. And now I'm going to kind of start, um, I'm going to line the body of the fish on the bottom, well, the shark, not fish, with the gray. And now we're going to use the black on the gills. Just cleaning things up a little. Now I'm going to use a gray or black gel pen and I'm going to go over the body of the shark around the fins and around the bottom of the shark with my gel pen. I'm going to go along the back fin and I'm going to squiggle on the top fin a little bit and on that little fin so that it doesn't look so straight and perfect. Color in the nostril with some black. Use a white gel pen on the eye and on the nostril. And then squiggle the white gel pen all the way down the side of the gray, like follow that gray line with the white gel pen. And then a little on the side fin and on the top of the shark and on the top fin and just on the top of the whole body. And this is just lighting the shark up a little bit like giving him some highlights, making him look more interesting. It's good to have darks and lights in your drawings. And then do a little down the side of the body. And then kind of put some on the, each of the gills. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, comment, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friends. And don't forget to draw your teeth. Thanks. Bye.